Hey guys, Flay here. Since the Dragon Song Reprise Ultimate is upon us soon, today I'll be giving you guys some tips for the upcoming raid, so let's get right into it. Number 1. Prepare food and potions. Now you may be familiar to the recent tweet from Yamato showing how someone refused to use food for practice and he called Yamato toxic for telling him to eat food for raid. Please make sure to prepare lots of raid food and do not be like the person from the tweet post. Every HP and stats counts when progging and clearing ultimates as the hottest hitting mechanics will drop you to very low health, enough to warrant a death and potentially causing a raid wipe. Potions however are usually used for clearing but do prepare a good amount of them as clearing can take several pulls. Number 2. Stay healthy. Make sure to eat healthy and get enough sleep regardless of whether you're going to be hardcore progging or having a more mid go to casual approach. Ultimates can be very taxing on your mental energy due to the amount of things you need to pay attention to. Remember to take breaks between long prog sessions and stay hydrated. Number 3. Have patience. One thing about ultimates is the amount of time it usually takes from prog to clear and many times prog does not go as intended by the group due to not everyone being to the 100% all the time. Mistakes may happen and this may lead to frustration and tension or potentially toxicity between static members. Please make sure to stay calm and keep a positive atmosphere during prog till clear. The last thing you would want during an ultimate prog is having to replace members and when this happens, it consumes much more time to reprog with that member as they will need to get used to the new strats and movement of other players as well. Respect everyone's time and make sure to think ahead, plan your time well and make sure that you have to time to commit. Number 4. Play safe and respect mechanics. Contrary to what many players say about ultimates being the hardest thing, this mostly applies only to mechanics. DPS checks in ultimates are not as tight as let's say week 1 savage. However, this does not mean you should not be DPSing at all. Be sure to be decent at your job and know how to adapt your rotations to different phases as ultimate rotations are completely different from what is done in savage. Greed responsibly and respect mechanics. The clear will come on its own. If you ever do have DPS issues, then discuss with other players in the balance or your members on how you can improve synergy for bursting down specific DPS checks. Number 5. Preparing for mechanics beforehand. Usually ultimates on Final Fantasy XIV come with mechanics from its previous raid series or trial series. For instance, T had mechanics from every single flow from the Alexander raid series combined into one long raid. These mechanics will not be entirely the same as they may add more gimmicks to it, however the general idea of which mechanics will be present in the ultimate is still going to be from those trials or raids. Since we know so far that we are going to be facing Thorden from the trailer as well as Nidhogg and Rasfelgar from what is shown on the live letter, we can deduce that there are going to be mechanics coming from those trials, raids and as well dungeons. Hence, it is a good idea to practice those with minimum item level and analyze all those mechanics to give us an edge during progging. Number 6. Be capped on the item level required. This of course is a no brainer, but I feel like it is very important to mention this as well. Make sure you are at item level 600. It does not matter whether you are BIS or not for progging. If you are late to get the BIS, just get any gear with the highest item level available to cap your eye level. The HP and extra stats you will be getting from maximum available item level will help you greatly on progging ultimate. You can always grind BIS while progging on weeklies as for the majority of players, ultimates usually will take a longer time to prog. Item level will always be king regardless of content on this game. I hope this video was helpful to you guys and I will see you guys later on. Have a good day.